What up, everybody? Raising Canaan Season 3, Episode 3. We see Canaan finally getting his weed operation going and how it runs. Canaan is using Paul's couriers to be his runners, stationed in different parts of town to make Simrad's weed deliveries. So this answers the question of who is Canaan's weed plug and where he got his clientele from. And it's obvious that Simrad's business is about to expand this way now that they're delivering the product in different parts of town and people don't have to show up at Simrad's apartment. But when Kanan showed up at Simrad's apartment to talk to Simrad about the business, Famous wouldn't get out of bed. And that was a good thing because Simrad said he didn't want Famous involved because he's sloppy. So if Famous would have showed up with Kanan, Simrad might have turned down the offer to do business. But while Kanan was meeting up with Simrad, Rock showed up at Famous' apartment and gave him money because she got word from Howard that Kanan was in the streets and told Famous that she heard that Kanan was making the wrong kind of friends. When Famous got home with the weed and was telling Famous that they about to be in the business, Famous started saying that he wasn't sure about selling weed and where they sleep and show Kanan the money that Rock brought and told Kanan they don't got to hustle, that Rock got them. Then Kanan knocked the money out of Famous's hands and told him that he don't take Rock's money no more. And if Famous let Rock back into the place, that he would do something to Famous himself. And that they were selling weed for Simrad now. So basically, Kanan was forcing Famous into the game, whether Famous wanted to be in it or not. And clearly Famous doesn't want to be in the game. Getting me to the question, is Famous about to try to set Kanan up? Keep in mind that Famous bodied Freddy in Season 2 with Palomar's gun, and we haven't heard anything else about this since. And in the Episode 4 trailer, Kanan's getting stopped after going through a metal detector, and it also looks like he gets arrested. So what are the chances that Famous frames Kanan by planting that gun in Kanan's backpack? So he can take all the money and the weed to try to get out the game and leave and disappear or something like that. This is definitely something to keep in mind going into episode 4. And will Howard have to risk his job by saving Kanan again? But after getting slapped in the face, Famous got on board and they started making money using the couriers to deliver the weed. And the couriers were said to be making three times the amount they were making working for Paul which would be a little under 200 a day. Getting me to the big question, was Ghost and Tommy in the number with the delivery boys that are running weed for Kanan and Simrad? Because there were two kids in the group that resembled young Tommy and Ghost from the original Raising Kanan teaser. The only difference between the kids from episode three and the Raising Kanan sample video was the kids from the trailer Looked like they were balling compared to the two kids from episode 3. But that would make sense though. After spending a couple years in the game. Obviously your wardrobe is going to get a lot nicer. This also lines up with the story about how Tommy first got into the game. Selling weed when he was talking to Diamond in 4 season 1. About chasing the high of your first sale. And the first time you taste a little power. And just being happy to be amongst the number. Also, I'm not sure if the white boy had cast on both his hands or if he was just dressed in an unusual outfit because he's so poor. Either way, it would line up with Tommy's childhood. Cast on both his hands because he has to fight so much or unusual clothes because he grew up so poor with Kate always abandoning him, maybe just wearing whatever he could find. Also, keep in mind when Ghost is first introduced, they're not going to be calling him Ghost. They'll be either calling him James or Jamie because he got his nickname Ghost from Breeze. And if that boy was Ghost, he got his first word in saying word after Kanan got done talking. This was after Javon started complaining about how he was able to make his own hours when he was working for Paul. But the characters who potentially played Ghost and Tommy, however, were eager to get started. Tommy had a smile on his face and Ghost saying word. This also shows that they might last longer than the other couriers or move up quicker and get closer to Kanan because we know at some point that Kanan is going to get close to Ghost and Tommy 
because they loved each other like brothers. That also gives us a clue that those two kids were most likely Ghost and Tommy because the fact they loved each other like brothers. Because it's hard to develop that brotherly bond unless you spend at least part of your youth with that person. Not saying it doesn't happen, but most of the time, those type of bonds are developed in childhood. We also know that Kane and Jukebox knew Ghost and Tommy when Ghost was still a student because Jukebox was quoted in power concerning Ghost. That kid always had his nose in the books, but he was mean with a piece though. Kanan also told Ghost in one conversation that Ghost was the meanest kid he ever met. So you got to believe that by the time Kanan meets Ghost, that Ghost is already going to be about that life and not afraid to get his hands dirty. Then keep in mind what OG Kanan was saying at the beginning of episode 3 when Stefano was being brought in by the feds. That a fish will adapt to the size of its tank. And if you put the fish in a bigger tank, it will get swole it will spread out and get bigger. He said that in the game, that the bull isn't a place, but it's a mindset. That you always got to be asking yourself, are you a little fish or a big fish? Keeping that quote in mind, consider how Ghost is starting off in the game as a runner and eventually moves up to become the biggest drug dealer in New York. Ghost definitely always had the mindset of a big fish, always looking for a bigger bull. Even starting out in the game, going from Paul's delivery boy making $60 a day to selling weed making $180 a day. Now let me backtrack for a minute to Kanan's conversation with the delivery boys. He told them to memorize Simrad's address for when they need to re-up. I made a video a couple weeks ago after Simrad and Romero were first introduced asking the question if Romero is RSJ. Keep it in mind that RSJ already told Tariq that he was familiar with Tariq's father. Is this how RSJ knows Ghost? Because Ghost got his start out in the game running weed for Romero's father, Simrad. Also keep in mind that RSJ mentioned how his father was killed. Will Simrad's come up working with Kanan be the death to him? Keeping in mind the big fish, little fish analogy. What would Kanan need to do to move up to the next level in the weed business? That would be to cut out the middleman, Simrad, and work directly with the plug. Getting me to the introduction of Snaps Henry. It is confirmed that Snaps will make his debut on Raising Kanan on episode 4. And I do think there's a good chance that Snaps' wife, Pops Henry, is Simrad's weed connection. Keep in mind that in the season 3 trailer... Snaps tells Kanan the business is booming. What if Snaps forces Kanan to take out Simrad and do business directly with him and his wife? What if Kanan gets Ghost and Tommy involved to help him take out Simrad? Keeping in mind, it was said about Ghost that he was good with a piece when he was a kid. And possibly Ghost was involved in Simrad's death, connecting the dots between Tariq and RSJ. And before I go, I got to mention how Ronnie was watching Kanan and Famous. And OG Kanan went back to talking at the end of the episode and said, You got to always be moving or you become a mark. So now Ronnie knows that Kanan's out there hustling. And he also knows where Kanan lives at. So we'll see what's going to happen with that situation. But one thing we do know for sure is that Kanan knows exactly who Ronnie is. And that he was also one of the 13 men who got released from prison. So with that said, we at least now know that Ronnie's not going to be able to manipulate Kanan the same way that Kanan manipulated Tariq by saying his name was Slim. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.